Hey everybody, I'm Dina Rico from the Creativity Cave and today I'm going to show you how to make a Mediterranean Blooms card. It's so beautiful and this is such an easy card. I'm going to show you two different ways. The first way right here, um, I created this card using just DSP. I only stamped the sentiment so it's such an easy card. Let me show you how I put it together. And I'm going to give you a, a slightly different version, just so you can see uh, some variety. So I'm going to start with a thick white card base. I'm going to fold that in half and give it a nice crease. And then I die cut a tag. This is from a new set of dies that were released last month from Stampin' Up. They are called the Greetings of the Season dies. And as you can see, there's all kinds of just fabulous tags. And while these are for sure designed to use during or throughout the holiday season, they are perfect for anything really. So I particularly love this large die um, that creates this big tag. And I'm going to take that tag and just tie a little twine on it, you know, got to make it pretty. So I'm using my Essentials Baker's twine in this card. And that is just such a staple in my card making. I probably use this like every week when I make cards. All right, so I'll just tie this on and then we'll tie a little bow. And then I'm going to adhere this to my card. I thought about, you know, adding a layer um, that's embossed to this. But I decided at the end of the day, I just love the simplicity of this. And it's the designer series paper that Stampin' Up! creates is so perfect for projects like this. Um, it really just does all the heavy lifting for you to make a really classy looking card. So I'll just adhere that to my card kind of like that. I'll set that aside for a moment and then on this card I took some of this designer series paper and there there are dies that will cut some of these images out which is just perfect um well I had the die what did I do with it <laughs> this always happens to me oh here it is um so you can as you can see, the die will line up with the designer series paper images. There's also a die for this image, so you can get several of these out of a sheet. Um, there's also a patterned sheet in that pack of designer series paper with lemons. Now, we don't have dies that coordinate with the lemons, but I thought we could really just fussy cut these out, and the cutting is not too hard. So I'm just going to pull this out of the paper quick and then we'll give it a quick trim. Um, some people don't like fussy cutting. Other people love fussy cutting. I kind of can take it or leave it. If there's a die, I'm all over that, but sometimes I don't really mind cutting paper because um, it's really not too difficult, especially on an image like this. I would call this kind of a medium image. There is some intricacy to it but it's not awful. So I'll just cut around this beautiful design and then uh, we can put the card together. Now I love the contrast of the oranges and the lemons with that beautiful uh, Knight of Navy pattern from our one of our other sheets of designer series paper. And as you can see, there's different patterns on the backs of all these papers. So it's a really great set of designer series paper. And what's even better about it is it's on sale this month. So you can get 15% off uh, the designer series papers. Most of them from the annual catalog are on sale. And I'll give you a little more information about that towards the end of my video here. But I just love this. Now, whenever I cut anything out, almost always I leave a border just a little edge to the pattern I'm cutting out and it gives it just kind of a finished and polished look. You don't have to do this, but gosh, it really does look nice. Now I could go in and cut this little hunk out if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, also note that I hold my snips in one place and then I kind of move the paper around to go around the design I'm cutting. So. 
snips stay in one place and then the paper moves as I cut. All right, so you can see my pattern here. Let's add this to my card. I'm going to just pop it up on my tag like so. And this would make such a fun little set of cards. So you could do, you know, like the single lemon and the multiple lemons and then a, the single orange and the multiple oranges and have just a lovely little set of four cards. And uh, you could even decorate the envelope um, for this and it would make just a wonderful gift for uh, anybody. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of position that on there like so. And then I'm gonna take just a little sliver of some Knight of Navy cardstock and I'm gonna add my sentiment. Um, I'm using the sentiment from the stamp set, but of course you could use whatever. This one says just checking in and I'll take some Versamark. But first I'm gonna prepare my paper a little, oops, a little bit. Take my embossing buddy. This is from the embossing editions toolkit, which is just, this is another thing I use just all the time. Of course, all of these fabulous goodies can be found in my online store. And um, when you shop with me, you can get some fantastic freebies. I'm just trying to stamp this straight. Hopefully I did it. It's easier to do. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I'll try it again over here. Oh, I bounced my camera. Sorry. It's so much easier to do this straight when you are not filming. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put some white embossing powder on here and then we'll heat set that really quick. See, now this is the side I didn't treat with my embossing buddy beforehand, but it's okay. We'll get it. Now, I don't have my, I lost my brush that came with this. I shouldn't say I lost it. I think it fell behind my little cupboard, so I need to dig it out. <laughs> Can anyone relate to that? When something falls behind, like a piece of furniture, it just is really hard to be motivated to find it, I think. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, I just love white embossing on dark paper. And of course, the Knight of Navy is just perfect to go with, with that tag. All right, let's give this a quick trim. And I'm going to add this to my card. So I'll just kind of tuck it in right there. Oh, perfect. And glue dots are just such a great invention. Whoever came up with these, I hope they got a big raise because wow, are these awesome. I love my glue dots. So I'm just gonna place that on here. And then of course we can always carry the design through the inside of our card. So there's a little something pretty on the inside as well. So I'll take my Knight of Navy ink pad and I think I'm just gonna stamp the word hello on here. This is also from this stamp set. And then I'll add a couple of the little flowers that coordinate with the flowers on the front of my card. Maybe we'll do one more up there. So it just adds a nice little touch to the inside. And what fun card, what a fun card this is. So let me know which you prefer, the oranges or the lemons, in the comments of this video. Now, if you would like some more inspiration with this amazing suite of products that features the Citrus Blooms stamp set, I have an amazing all-star video PDF. This all-star video class bundle features 12 projects with video tutorials, dimensions in both English and metric units, as well as awesome pictures of these beautiful cards. 
you can get this for $15 in the description of this video. I'll also have it linked up here, as well as you can get it for free when you shop my online store and spend either $50 or a member of as a member of my team, you can also get this for free. So it's a really great PDF. This is available all month long for free, or you can purchase it anytime in my PDF store on my website. And like I said, I'll link all that stuff in the description of this video. And then another reminder that we have our um, sale of designer series papers. I'm just trying to find my sheet here. Here we go. Um, our designer series paper sale has two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 different papers that are 15% off. So they are 10 62 in the U S after the discount each. You can also redeem your uh, bonus day coupons during the month of August, so, which can, will make them even less expensive. So take advantage of that and get a free uh, PDF. Plus, if that's not great, um, you can also get a free card kit from me featuring cards with this Mediterranean Blooms um, suite. Let me show you those cards. I made these during my weekly YouTube Live, which is on Mondays. Um, and these three cards you will get a card kit for to create them. Look at this one. This is a fun fold. So cute. Um, and this is free with a $35 purchase in my online store. You can get some embellishments to go with it when you spend $75. And if you spend $50, you'll also get that Mediterranean Blooms uh, PDF. So just such a good week to purchase this. Um, and this bundle is one of my favorites from this catalog. Uh, so I hope you loved my project. Again, let me know which card is your favorite. If you could give me the thumbs up, that would rock. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my awesome videos each week. Thank you all so much for watching today, friends. I hope you loved these simple but really classy looking projects. And uh, I will see you all soon. Bye.